Yeah, so moving on to the function generator. Um, good, so you can see a better view of it here. So um, as you've seen, we can switch between different waveforms. Um, it's a single button. You click it, and it toggles by LED here. Um, if you toggle it uh, to all the LEDs being off, you get a DC level, which you can then adjust with the DC offset. You can see the DC level moving on the screen up there, based on the DC offset. Um, we have, uh, um, first I'll go to the noise control. So we have uh, basic noise we can add to our function here. Zoom in on that. Oops, wrong channel. So this is Gaussian noise. We also have uniform noise. Like so. We can adjust the um, duty cycle of the square wave which is really cool on the spectrogram actually. Let's see if we uh, you can see the harmonics changing as you adjust the duty cycle as you can see on the screen. It's pretty cool. Let's go back. And um, I think I already showed you we have the menu here that gives uh, readouts for noise level, frequency, amplitude, RMS, peak to peak, DC, so we can adjust all our settings based on that. Um, and we have a 40 dB attenuation on the amplitude, so that puts us all the way down at um, 10 uh, millivolts, um, all the way up to 10 volts. This control can go. Um, which corresponds to this, which can go all the way down to 10 volts per division, all the way up to uh, 10 millivolts per division. Um, the uh, the scale controls and the time controls on this basically double um, approximately once per division, um, so you get a nice smooth adjustment all the way up the whole scale. And uh, last but not least, we have this uh, frequency multiplier here. And this is kind of um, one of the more complicated parts of the circuit for, uh, for multiple reasons. Um, uh, for one, um, I spent forever, sorry, I spent forever uh, implementing these radio buttons. It was kind of a, <laughs> a ridiculous um, use of my time. But... Uh, I really was dead set on having radio buttons that allowed you to, set, you to select the frequency. So as you see, if you select one button and you select the next button, it turns the buttons, the corresponding buttons, uh, off. It latches them on and off. And um, yeah, I tried to figure out how to do that in um, in LabVIEW. Um, it's uh, it's a trick, and I'm I'm not at liberty to share that information. Um, I thought it was pretty clever, um, but anyway. Uh, uh, what this does is controls the uh, frequency control and in increments of uh, um, uh, 10. So we have, and our knob goes from 1 to 10. So starting down here at the bottom, we have 1 hertz, and we can go all the way up to 10 hertz, and then 10 hertz to 100 hertz, all the way up to a megahertz. So have to dial this in, and you can see even all the way up at one megahertz. And let's show you on the output here. So the frequency is up at 1.035 megahertz. We still have the resemblance of a square wave. Um, I think it'll go even higher than that. I was pretty impressed that software could even go that far. Um, uh, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, yeah, it it's uh, much further than that. My computer starts to choke a little bit with the settings I have. My computer's kind of old, though. So maybe a newer machine could push even further. 
yeah, uh, that's um, uh, about a two and a half megahertz of resolution we're seeing there. It's pretty uh, pretty impressive um, for the software. Um, in order to do that, there is some frequency and sample uh, um, number tricks going on here. If you see, if we scale this back here, um, you eventually get to the point where your waveform starts disappearing, where you run out of samples. And if you actually, if you dial this back to a lower level here, you start to run out of samples sooner, especially when you have this horizontal adjustment here. You only get so many cycles in your window before you run out of material. And that's one annoying thing about this software, but it's just something you have to deal with. It's kind of a balancing act. The problem is that um, you have your sampling frequency and then you have the number of samples in the signal. And if you, incre if you decrease the frequency, it means that you have more samples per each cycle. So you eventually run out of samples and you get this. Um, the solution for that is um, to keep uh, to increase the number of samples as you uh, decrease the frequency. But the problem there is that the uh, your computer will end up choking. Uh, mine goes up to about 8,000 samples and it starts getting nasty. So uh, what you have to do then is you have to lower the sample rate um, when you're measuring things at a lower frequency so that you can have more samples representing those waveforms and you don't run up your buffer and fill up your memory. Um, so what that means is that as this frequency knob sweeps from 1 hertz all the way up to 1 megahertz, you have to constantly be changing the sampling rate. Uh, initially I had this set up so that the sampling rate uh, changed continuously with the knob, but that created all kinds of problems with triggering and um, just made everything kind of glitchy. So uh, this, apparently the software doesn't like doing that. Um, so instead, I came up with a compromise, and that was to adjust the frequency every. Let me turn that off. Adjust the frequency every um, uh, 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 ten hertz, or I mean every division of ten. So that means we have six divisions um, of frequency across the range of this uh, scope. I mean this function generator um, where it adjusts the sample rate um, and I might make turn that into finer divisions eventually but I think it works okay for now you get a nice balance enough that you can capture most of what you need in a window here um, and have some leeway still so yeah, uh, I think that's about it. The only other thing here is the save function on the function generator. I'm not going to show you that. It just prints out an Excel file. I don't think you want to look at an Excel file, so um, I'll leave that alone. I um, think that's about everything. So yeah, I really enjoyed this class, and I hope you guys like my function generator, and I hope you have a nice break. I'll see you guys around.